is, is that this this room goes way that direction and it is cold folks. it's cold <laughs> yeah even though it's warm outside it is not warm in here because it's this is what happens in, in uh, okay, studios are two different forms. They're either cold as hell or hot as hell. I actually know you're right on that. That's right, and this is we're in the cold as hell right now, because if you turn, if you really get the the engines running well, they make too much noise. It'd be warmer at the beach. <laughs> warmer at the beach. She's warmer in the water than she is in this building. That's not safe. And it's gonna get colder because we're getting, we're gonna get, we're getting another, we're getting a bigger barn to play with. <laughs> So, you know, actually, we'd be getting a bigger barn to play with, except for something that we have just hardly found out this week. So this is old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about... Uh, the death of 3D TV. You're going, wait a minute. Now, if you notice what we said, it's the death of 3D TV, not the death of 3D. No, I mean, I can tell you, I've been, we've been talking to the money people. The money people, have, are, this is their advice. The uh, 3D movies are not going away. Mm -hmm. But they see no conceivable future in 3D television for many of the obvious reasons. One, because the TVs are too expensive, and because of these little jewels. Oh, yeah. Now, if you notice, we're wearing a couple different types of ones. These are what you know. Um, these are the anaglyph ones, the red and the blue ones. And these are the polarized ones, folks. Mm -hmm. And this is, everything starts out in this form. No matter what it is, it starts out in this form. So if people would just stick to this form, and these glasses are cheaper than these glasses, everybody could have 3D TV to start with. Mm -hmm. But to what happened is, is that, okay, I'm going to tell you, actually, here's my problem. I have confidentiality agreements with some of these people. Because what we do is we do, we have a business that does 3D also. Mm -hmm. And so we basically have to separate the business from, from the news, news side. And what's so actually out there. Have to, I can only report on things that I see other people put up. Right? Because could, it's already because it's already knowledge. out there. It's just like the simple thing. Do you see? Uh, okay. Do you see Sony, IMAX, and the Discovery Channel's 3D channel out there? Well, you know, here's the biggest challenge: is I know not this year at CES. Last year, the Consumer Electronics Show, you had what was it? Dish Network, Dick, Direct TV. You know, all all, all of these, them. They were all talking about 3D channels. ESPN. Yeah. Remember they were ESPN. At NAB was all having you have to do actually at, over at um, over at the uh, cable show too. They mm -hmm. were wanting it. They were they were coming talking to us, but. It basically here's a, this thing on ESPN. You know, from the from the people that do you know that cover 3D. That's all they live and breathe and cover 3D. They said simply, you know, the, the Sony channel is nice, but they have no affiliates to run it. Oh. They said ESPN is nice, except they don't have one single program. They have no program schedule. See, here's here's the tricky part. You know, it's that chicken and the egg thing. Yeah. Because, you know, they've been using 3D, and they've been using it in the movie theaters, yeah. and then people want to see it at home. Remember when we went to go get Alice in Wonderland? I was so disappointed. I'm like, oh, we're going to go get Alice in Wonderland because it was a 3D movie. I'm going to go get a 3D. No, it's a 2D. It. Because yeah. they basically, you can get it. Uh, what's happening is, is Warner, Time Warner, or Warner Cable, whatever it is, is running 3D. They're supposed to have a 3D channel. No, they have like a channel that basically you can see 3D videos on if they choose to run the movie in 3D also. And some of the people go, well, wait, wait a minute, I thought you needed a 3D TV to watch 3D. Well, no. actually, no, you don't. No. Okay, off to our right side against that wall, what is that, 36-inch monitor? Yeah, something like that. A 36-inch monitor over there, that can show 3D because you do not need, this is okay, the, here's the trick is, so I'll talk to the money people that basically, we were doing a thing this month, but basically they got damaged because of the fact nobody wants to be involved in 3D TV. He said specifically, the money people told somebody else that wanted to make a huge investment in, in 3D TV, that there it, it is, the problem is that the they put the cart before the horse. Oh, right. like we haven't seen that Which before. Which is a nutshell. They had no programming. We went to, a year ago, we went to a thing which basically they didn't really have again this year. Where, the, where like, uh, she, was, she was at a music thing at the same time, and I was sitting there waiting for her to come back. And I'm talking, there's like five of us there. One of them is, a, one of them is an executive from one of the networks, and the other five are um, producers. And, you know, the, the executive said, 
3D TV isn't going to work until you people get off your asses and produce some programming. And then the people in the, you know, they're sitting there, the producers, well, we're not going to produce programming until we know somebody's going to show what we've got. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they don't have, the, we've got like one million TV sets designed specifically for 3D when, because there was a, here, this is what holds up the 3D channel. Well, you know, These. part of it is, I, with, Okay, but we'll put it, is, first of all, 3D is a broadcast signal. They are watching 3D. It's available, now, and you're seeing it coming out right now. Cell phones, uh, tablets, tablets, computers, computers, right? Everything. They are not telling you that you need all the active shutter and all these other things for no, you, are they? This, this is what stopped the daylights out of 3D TV because... You know, we've used the analogy before, which actually some of the people are actually starting to agree with now, because they got, you know, that the people that designed this stuff for active shutters and these expensive glasses didn't have children. Mm -hmm. Actually, it, when you first started talking about that, now we're starting to hear more of it. More of them are talking about the same thing, you know, like the a-holes didn't have children. And they're all talking, yeah, you're right. I, I heard one of them say, well, yeah, the guy did over here, he's some old fart like you are, and basically he doesn't know what children are. Children, basically, I mean, if you got children, grandparents know about it, but the kids come over, which again, we'll try, hey, Harvey, I want to change the channel on the TV, throw me the remote control. And then you say to granddad, granddad, Harvey just broke the remote control against the wall. These run $125 a piece, mm -hmm. $125. Hey, Harvey, I, need, I can't see the 3D, toss me a set of glasses. Granddad, Harvey just broke your damn glasses. Oop, I'm not supposed to say that. Mommy said, don't say that word. And Granddad says, damn. And he said, no, I broke your glasses. <laughs> Those are the words Mommy told me to say. That's it. They don't understand. A family cannot afford four sets of $125 a pair of glasses because yeah. they're going to break the things. Every set of glasses we have seen at Best Buy and um, Costco have been broken. Every yeah, single in fact. Set. First of all, they used to start with the glasses, and then they started with the stationary thing where you go stand up there and you can move it up and down. And now we've been looking at those things aren't even there. They're br they, they, they broke the plastic holders. These things were in, so you couldn't do it. They busted them out. So now you can't even see. All you can see is the the double, the ghost image now. But um, it's... But here's, here's some things that we want to shatter some of these images about 3D TV. Number one is um, the what was announced at CES. Now... You know, we're waiting to see if those are just more like prototypes or like concept okay. cars, if they're actually coming um, out. This basically, I, we, we get people that are basically, you know, commenting on the stuff we're putting up, and I'll tell you this, they say, um, those glasses don't exist anymore. A lot of the places that were carrying these glasses for the TV sets are going to pull them out. Because there is no demand in this nation for the 3D TV sets. There's virtually no demand anywhere in the world out of China for the 3D sets because they broke the first rule. The Consumer Electronic Association did a statistical analysis. They did that. That was not, not last no, year, but the year before. We, at the year before, we were, they were talking to us about it. Was it two to three hundred dollars more was all that they would be willing to pay for a 3D set. And that was a study that goes out and the people that are manufacturing, they all belong, belong they all to the pay for that. They, all pay, they for pay for that the, information. They pay for the information. And then they ignored it because they figured, hell, we can, we can make a lot of money off of this. Well, these are the same people that basically no longer come to CES that said, we did an extensive study and we've decided, and we have found an extensive study, the only reason women buy products is because of the blank factor. Oh, I remember that press conference. Which got everybody booing them in the women's section. <laughs> yeah, they, they basically have not shown in two years. Uh, they're, they're one of the big companies. They have not shown in two years a CES after that debacle. Yeah, they've been kind of hidden off, not even in the main CES. They've been in, like... Auxiliary buildings. Yeah, and um, because um, they figured, well, we can make lots of extra money by selling glasses. This well, is not like ink cartridges. Because no. ink cartridges, although they can add up, they're really, you know, $10 here, $15. It's not okay. like $125. Okay, here's what happens with your glasses if you're a male. You stick them in your back pocket to go get something to drink or eat, and you come, oops. Because a lot of guys, males, for the most part, males don't do this except young males. Mm -hmm. Put the things up shut. Most of them simply do something like that. Do they? Because they're not glasses. They're going to scratch them up. But they don't understand if you scratch them, you can't use them either. They don't. There's something. 
Like the remote control. What's a guy do with a remote control when he goes to go get something to eat? He sticks it in his pocket. You know, he doesn't set it down. He car Half the guys in the world will carry the remote control in to the bathroom with them, to the kitchen. You know, like they don't, they, they like to take a fixture to them. All right, I'll set it in there. You know, oh, oh, here, put it in the pocket. And you know what happens. Why remote controls are so cheap. You can get a remote control for five bucks that works just as good as the one you had because you break so many of them. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but the problem, like I said, and then they decided they got even more greedy. Well, look, we're going to charge $1,500 more for your television set. You know, that 36-inch TV set, instead of $2,500, we're going to charge you $3,900 for it because it's 3D. Mm -hmm. Well, it might have worked if they'd had any programming. But at Best Buy, the individual we're listening to, well, he wanted to buy the, buy a set. And he said, well, why should I pay $3,500 for a set that there's not any programming on? He said, well, they're going to be. And he said, when? And he said, well, they promised. And he said, you know, he said, if I don't buy this one, what's this one going to cost without 3D? Oh, and like $2,100 without the 3D. Mm -hmm. Same set without the 3D. Also can guarantee you one other little thing uh, that they're going to have problems with. They are currently, there are devices you can actually find that remove the active shutter thing from the, from the active shutter cess. So you can sit there and watch through a $10 set of glasses. Mm -hmm. Well, because we've been talking to the companies. You know, at CES they announced you've got the glasses. Um, not the glasses, the TVs where you can watch 3D with with no glasses. Yeah. You can watch it with, like, well, polarized glasses. Or you can watch it with active shutter. Yeah. Right? Those are the options, basically. And the ones with the active shutter sell the least. Because, because they're the most expensive glasses to get. They're the most expensive to get. So. Unfortunately, they brought to you by the same people that brought you Blu-ray, who nobody wants. And there's also television sets that will, they take the 2D content and they make it into 3D. Oh yeah, that's the real good one, but they're hoping that, but that issue they're not pushing this year. Mm -hmm. Because, well, if you can turn your stuff into 3D, then why do we need to produce 3D programming? Well, see, that's... <laughs> well, because, okay, okay. Uh, okay. We, our cameras are 3D cameras. We don't necessarily put everything up in 3D. What we do is we backpedal it and turn it into 2D. But uh, you do things differently. Okay, a drama does not work well transferred to 3D. It just doesn't work. I mean, you want to see, see uh, you like to see a Jane Austen movie in 3D. Mm -hmm. You know, are the King's Speech in 3D? Mm -hmm. Boring as hell. You know, you're sitting there getting this, you know, why do I want to watch this thing in 3D? All they're doing is talking about the friendship between a king of England and a commoner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the commoner knew the king stuttered and nobody else did, so that's not just an ordinary commoner, folks, you sort of way up there. But, uh, but um, okay, um, I remember, I, I think it was Gorilla at Large, I think, which I did with, um, I was one of the people, one of the people floated in and out, because, you know, can I see it was, uh, I think it was, and Bancroft, Cameron Mitchell, and Raymond Burr, and a guy in a furry suit. John, basically, basically, he made a career of. He, he was on the Beverly Hillbillies playing. You know, he play he play a gorilla and a nine gorilla in Beverly Hillbillies at the time. Just made a career of playing gorillas. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he he you know so but uh, it was not meant to be three D. They would do things. A stupid gorilla was throwing things. You know, like gorilla's gonna throw. Them. No. I mean, three Stooges, three D. I could three D. I could three. 3D to Three Stooges, you know, there's a lot of them that have been colorized. You get 3D to your heart's content. Well, because a lot of it has to do, I mean, now, granted, I mean, we're just standing here talking, and this is actually not the best option, but we're trying to show you that you can do anything in 3D. Anything. But part of it is, is remember 3D is depth, yeah. right? So things that we have movement to, from, back, and forth, there's yeah. depth. That's so there's right. motion, and you can feel like you're in the picture. And here's a problem. Once, okay. I, we talk to people, which I'm on their mailing list now, that can convert any hard drive camera into a 3D camera and you can zoom back and forth in a 3D. There is a problem when you zoom in and out in 3D. Mm -hmm. You have a depth of field problem. Mm -hmm. Because whatever you're zooming in on, okay, see, I can, right now, both of us, we're both, you know, I mean, I can even get closer to the camera. We are both perfectly in focus. Mm -hmm. But what happens is, like in Tron, 
where they were using a runner system. They basically had the camera set on rails that moved in and out. One of the people, when the camera moves, the, one of them becomes out of focus. Uh. That is why True 3D is a camera that, ha that basically you're in focus. <laughs>